This is Duke University. Drums and Haitian Creole lyrics mixed with bells and Latin chants during a concert this past semester in Duke Chapel. The music paid tribute to the victims and survivors of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. The composition, which comprised nine movements and 35 performers, was an original score by graduating senior Martin Connor. Mentoring Connor throughout the process of writing and staging the concert was Duke music professor Anthony Kelly. Hearing it in this space and feeling the seriousness of the venue and the, and the commitment of all the live performers, it made me feel like we were in touch with the lineage of history of great music. It really came together um, very quickly. I threw in some ideas, he threw some in, but the earthquake in Haiti had just happened. Um, and at, around that time, for some reason, I was listening to a lot of uh, requiems uh, by classical composers. And so I said, how about uh, a requiem? You know, this Haitian earthquake just happened. How about a requiem? And he said, okay, how about um, you write it for a brass quintet and carillon? I thought it was ambitious. I felt your suffering yeah. as you went through the beginning. Well, yeah, I think you're you dealing definitely with could. the material of the what happens to the victims. You're dealing with yeah. how to deal with two languages. Yeah, I remember you know, text setting. Yeah, I didn't oh, even know about text right. setting. It, when, exactly. It, you know, text setting is um, how you set the words to music. It should reflect the natural verbal accent of the words. Yeah, they're strong and weak beats. So yeah. I am walking down the street. To study up on the rhythm and meaning of Creole words, Connor sought help from professors in Duke's Haiti lab. A fellow student and Haitian native, Emmanuel Jean Etienne, made an audio recording to demonstrate the language's pronunciation. Papa Ligba, innocent, naïve. There was definitely a point in time where I did not think this piece would be performed, because we haven't even mentioned the carillon. That's right, that's what to, I was trying yeah, to say, is because, how you know, to work The carillon it. is an outside instrument. So the timing of how to make it work with the live instruments was something I kept yeah. questioning. To incorporate the carillon in the chapel's bell tower, Connor worked through the instrument's acoustics with Duke physics professor Dewey Lawson. The campus technical and media services groups then devised an audio-visual setup that allowed university caroliner Samuel Hammond to respond to the conductor's cues. This is really what um, you know, knowledge in the service of society could be about. This is it right here. It really justified my choice in choosing Duke because I thought about it and there, there's probably nowhere else in the world that I could have put this on. Connor will continue his study of composition this summer at the Scola Cantorum School of Music in Paris. Proceeds from the concert were donated to the nonprofit Camillus House to support an orphanage in Haiti. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.